We believe one of the things that we can do through the, through the technology is the fact that a pawn can become a knight. In economic terms, we have this, this consideration of the fact that you cannot have infinite expansion in a finite world. With technology, we know that that is possible. So think of this as an actual place, and these cups represent different pro properties, different parcels. Mm -hmm. um, and these sticks represent different requirements for building on each parcel. You can see there's water here, there's some environmental considerations with the things. And so our thinking was, okay, well why, why does determining what's allowable to be built on a particular property have to wait for an application? success factors in order to solve the problem, we needed information sharing, and again, two-way. Information sharing uh, between official sources and immigrants, and also of immigrants to official sources. So that the, from the official What we side, came up with a uh, second time around was the fact that people who we, immigrants, who get into the job line, we actually expect them to compete with open jobs on the open job market with native citizens. Here you can you are free to see all the functions, sub functions we have put and processes that take so professional licensing, education and all this stuff. Given the mobile technologies, clouds and open data that is suddenly being made available to us, how do we design a government platform that allows for this? Unlike a commercial sector, um, the government doesn't, can't choose its customers. We, we have to serve everyone. And because of that, I think the, one of the biggest problems we have is that is mobile the only way that we can connect with citizens? And the answer is no. We really have to be multi-channel and multi-platform. And really, regardless of browsers and whatever you talk about, you really need to be all things to all people. So the integration of the channels has become even more important as you move forward. Mm -hmm.